I recently saw a demo on Groovy by Dave Bergman at Lab49, and he took a Java program, dropped it into a Groovy file, compiled it, and ran it, and went on from there. I thought it was an interesting approach, and I wanted to give that a try with C Sharp and PowerShell. So what we're going to do here is we're going to create a, an array of strings. We're going to loop through that array, and we're going to take each element, calculate its length, and then accumulate it, and at the end we're going to print that out. So let's get started with a an array, and we'll create a string array called items, and we'll add a few names, maybe we'll add four, that's enough, and then we'll create a variable that will accumulate the total in and let's do a for each on those items and we'll accumulate that here and then we'll print out that value Pretty simple, straightforward, and let's watch it run, and the total is 14. Great. Now what we'll do is we'll take that same program, we'll bring up a text editor, paste it in, and we'll create this as a PowerShell file. I'm using version 2, and this first part will only work in version 2, but the, lay, the final result will also work in version 1. And here what I'll do is I'll put this inside of a here string. And there's a new commandlet called add type. And what that will do is compile it. I'll add public to both the class and the static method of main. And at the end, here's how we'll call it. We'll call it in a fully qualified way. Dot program and when you want to call a static method this is the syntax and we'll pass null as an argument we'll bring up a PowerShell console and let's give this a, a try see if we got it all right and sure enough we get the same result as we got from the IDE so now Kind of interesting that you can take an actual C sharp program, drop it into PowerShell, and a couple of tweaks, and you're off and running. But let's make this more PowerShell like. So, what we can do here is we can begin to reduce and refactor what we have. Uh, first off, we can get a lot rid of a lot of the syntax. We don't need to specify a namespace or a class or a, a method. Um, and we can get rid of the closing braces and the way we invoke it. Then we can make this a variable by adding in a dollar sign in front of it. We don't have to type it because PowerShell is a dynamic language in that way. And we'd also have to define it this way. Take out the semicolons. That's a shorthand way to define a, um, an array. Again, we'll take out the semicolons and just change all of our variables and add dollar signs to them. Hopefully we'll get all of them. We're not going to use the console write line. PowerShell will uh, let us do it this way. The only difference is we can keep that same approach with the, with the format string, and we can add that. And let's see now if we get the same answer again. So now we're not compiling anything. We just have all PowerShell code. And let's see what we get. OK, we got a missing statement. What we want to do is in our for loop, put those in curly braces. And that should take care of that. And we've got the same result. Great. Let's take it a few steps further. Um, we don't have to define a variable, first off. And let's just change this notation down here. If we embed a string inside, I'm sorry, if we embed a variable inside of a string, we get the same result. That's saved. Let's try it again. Great. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to get this down to a single line of PowerShell. So what I'm going to do here is introduce a function. 
and this is a function you can actually put in your PowerShell um, profile and we'll call it list and it returns args I'm going to actually take it out of here run it in the console window now it's available and now what I can do is I can say list I'll show you how to do it here we can do a list A, B, C, D and if we sort that in a variable we can see the type and we can see that it's a system array of objects so let's go back to our this now we can actually get rid of even more syntax and this should work and instead of calling a for each in that way we're going to pipe it to for each and we can get rid of this and the other change here is we're going to say dollar sign underscore that indicates the current object in the pipeline so this is looking a little more PowerShell like and let's run this and see what happens and we still get the same result excellent and the final piece will be putting a begin process and an end and I'm going to include this right here so in effect uh, it's a single line PowerShell to accumulate the lengths of strings in an array and printing them out Let's see if that still works excellent so this version here will work in version 1 of PowerShell the add type will work only in version 2 and that's the end of the demo.